Hello, this is Chris Menard. Today I'm going to cover two Excel functions. The first is the round function, and the second one, a function not a lot of people use, is the M round function. Let's go ahead and get started. I already have Excel running. If you notice in column A, I've got some numbers typed. So here is example one of the round function. Equals round. The round function has two arguments. The first one, what cell reference do you want to round? Comma. The next one is how many digits do you want to round it? So I want to round 9.21, zero decimal places. So that should stay as the number 9.00. The next one should go to the number 10. So let's see if this is correct. There's the round function, zero decimals. 9.72 went up to 10. 9.49 should stay at 9. It did. And here are your math rules. The 9.5 should go to 10. Correct? So let's just see what we have here. 101 is correct. The 7 is obviously correct. 109.499 became 109. Everything worked. So just to keep up with this, I'm going to throw in the formula text for you. So there's the formula I used for example one. Here we go with example two. I'm over in column F. I'm going to use the round function again. This time I want to round this one decimal place. So that should stay as 9.2. Next one should be 9.7. 9.5. Five, and I'm going to increase the decimals one time here just so we can see this. It is working correctly. So there's the round function with one decimal place. And two more on the round function and then I'll be done. In this example, I'm going to use round, comma, zero, and then I'm going to subtract 0 0.01. What I want to do here is all my numbers in column I, I want them to end with 0.99. So because I round zero decimal places, and then I subtracted 0 0.01, let's see what we end up with here. Everything is correct, so that is how you would get all your prices to end with 0.99 using the round function, zero places, minus 0.01. One last item about this, so there's your three examples. Let me copy this. That's the formula text. There it is in G2. That's the second example. There's the third example with a negative 0.1. I could, if you want to, you can also not just do 0, 1, and 2. I'm going to do a negative 1. So 21 went down to 20. Let me pull this down. That is correct. The 115.88, because I'm rounding negative 1, became 120. That's actually correct. 102 went back to 100 because we're rounding. 15, 15, 10. If I go to I2 and make that number, there's the formula by the way. If I go to I2 and make this the number 2 or 3 or 4, I should get 0 and I do. But when I go to the number 5, it goes to 10. So it's working correctly. Anyway, that is the round function. I use that function all the time. This week, which is the week of October, today's the 28th, Sunday, 2018. Next week, I'm going to cover round up and round down. But there is a function I use occasionally. It is called M round. This is actually very popular with HR people because the Department of Labor for employees that are non-exempt, which means they're hourly, a lot of companies will use a 15-minute time clock. 
So if you come into work, you're supposed to be at work at 7, and you get to work at 7.07, you're in at 7 o'clock because of the 15-minute time clock. It's called a 7-minute rule. If you came in, supposed to be at work at 7, and you got to work at 6.53, that's the same as clocking in at 7. So it's 7 minutes after the hour and 7 minutes before, going in 15-minute increments. So I was thinking about this, and I'm like, I'm going to use the mRound function. Returns a number rounded to the desired multiple. So I'm going to return equals mRound. D2, comma, I'm looking in 15-minute increments. And because I'm dealing with time, I need to put this in quotations. Zero, colon, 15, close parent. I should get 7, because 7 o'clock is going to be 7 o'clock. That is correct. I should get 7 o'clock again, because it's the 7-minute rule. 708 should go to 715, and it does. 653 should be 7 o'clock. 652 should be 645. There you go. So we use the M round function right there to figure out this seven minute rule that the, I think, the Department of Labor has that a lot of companies use. I believe uh, Kronos uses it a lot. And so if you wanted to make a quick chart of this, I'm just going to fly through here. I'm going to make it text first. So if you came in at 53 to 7, that would be 0, 0. If you came in from 8 to 22, that would be 15, 23 to 37. I probably could have done a formula here now that I'm sitting here typing this. 38 to 52 is 45. So regardless of the hour, whatever 53, 553 to 607 would go to 6. That's how this works right here. Little chart. Anyway, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. M uh, Roundup, Round Downer coming up. Thank you for your time. Have a wonderful Sunday.